Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So this week we're just going to have a little bit of fun playing Grand Theft Battlefield hijacking vehicles. If you've never seen this before, there's a good chance you might actually learn something. Now, if you've been on this channel for a while, you may recall that roughly 20 months ago I played this game, but uh, I've made some improvements to it. Also, there's been some changes since Season 4, so it changes the game a bit. So in addition to the traditional GTA Wanted system like you're seeing there with the stars, I've also pulled together a table of the vehicles in the game to try and work out what they roughly cost so we can get a bit of a financial tally on the chaos we cause. I've done my best to be accurate, but don't take it seriously guys, some of the things in this game don't even exist in the real world. So, if you've never tried this before, it goes something like this. Choose Engineer, jump on top of a vehicle, and start attacking it with your repair tool. When the health bar changes from red to green, like you're seeing there, that means the player inside has lost their nerve, jumped out, and you can hijack. So that's our first $8 million. Now, if you can kill the person you hijacked, I'll give you a 10% multiplier on your score. The next multiplier I'll give you in this game is if you can actually escape with the vehicle, which is easier said than done when you've really pissed off the other side and you're deep in their half. And finally, the last multiplier I'm going to give you is the wanted ranking. I've stuck faithfully to GTA, but basically if you attack a vehicle two stars, three stars if you kill a person, four stars if you get into a vehicle fight, and five star if you actually take out an enemy vehicle with the one that you stole. And finally, if your vehicle does get destroyed, I'll allow you an opportunity for a revenge bonus on the person who took you out. So given I'm about to land this shot, that's 8 million for the tank I stole, 30 million for the helicopter I downed, and a multiplier of 1.3, giving me 49 million. I gotta pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. Hopefully that's clear. We're going to play around with that in part one. But in part two, I just want to show my respect for some of the players out there who, despite my best efforts to hijack them, fought to the absolute end. No matter what I did, these guys were going down with the ship. And I actually really respect that because that's actually the right thing to do. Respect for not handing your tank to the other team. Good play, guys. Good play. So I'm also just going to slide into part two here some of the only battlefield moment fails. So watch this one, for example. See if you can figure out what happened. Did you see it? Let's go back and watch in slow-mo. The hokum slammed straight into me. That tank driver owes you a beer. Anyway, I'll finish out the video with some more of those funny fails. But before we start, and particularly for new players who maybe haven't tried this before, a couple tips. First of all, EMP grenades, despite being heavily nerfed, are actually still fairly useful if you want to go after vehicles. In most cases, it slows them down, and in all cases, it slows down turret rotation. I've done a video on it, so I won't repeat it. And second, a lot of the things you're going to see in this video can be applied to playing properly, i.e. just smoking the vehicles you come across. In pretty much every instance in this video, I could have just killed the vehicle and moved on. But what's the fun in that? Uh, third thing I'd say, if you are going to play this game, make sure you tell your friends in the squad what you're doing. Otherwise, there may be a little bit of miscommunication and uh, unnecessary frustration. That is my fault. I didn't tell Johnny what I was doing, but uh, thanks for the help all the same, buddy. And finally, this little clip here is a bit of a two for one. If you find that some little troll like me runs up and starts trying to hijack you, you've got an option, which is to do the counter hijack. I would, however, recommend letting the opponent run the health bar down a bit more before you make the switch. And the second part is if you're in a main battle tank, use the splash damage from firing into a wall to kill the person on top of you. It's very effective. And finally, my last bit of pseudo wisdom, when you hijack a vehicle, you have absolutely no idea what you're going to find inside. So when I took this tour over, they were in siege mode in the middle of the map with no APS, and it didn't go well. Not sure why they were in siege mode, but whatever. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's start playing the game, and we're gonna open up proceedings with a spawn camping tour. Let's see what we can do. Maximum effort. Quick tip, as you approach a vehicle, just check how many people are inside. The more there are, the more risky this is. You may just want to blow them up instead. Anyway, this guy's alone and in siege mode, so let's go for it. There's a green bar, they've lost their nerve. Go for it. So as you can see, it's a Lee's player, so they've probably got C5 or AT mines, so we got to put some distance and try to kill them quickly. Also note, this vehicle doesn't have APS or canister shots, so we got to work with what we've got. 
A mysterious explosion, so I popped my smoke in fear, but eventually I managed to confirm it. Yep, they killed themselves with their own C5. So, we've managed to kill the driver, and we got away. So, two multipliers for us. Now, what can we do with the damage? Hostile tank, 60 meters away from me. Okay, so that's one wildcat down, and uh, we can mop up some poor soul, even though it doesn't do anything for our score. Let's see what else we can get out of this stolen ride. Down secure. One of their tanks. You're 70 meters away. Right, so having stolen their tour and taken out both Wildcats, that is a full AA wipe for their team. Damn it, I should have made that a multiplier. Anyway, right, too late. Anyway, back to our run. A battle tank appears. Let's see if we can take it. Meters. One more just to see it on this way. Oh my god, how did I miss that? Anyway, I've well and truly got their attention now, and with no APS, I'm about to get cooked. Take it back. Yeah, I don't like Dragas. Bear with me one moment. A few moments later. Good. So that's 40 million in stolen and destroyed vehicles, a 1.3 multiplier, giving us 52 million. Let's see if we can do more. This one started off a lot more aggressive. So we start off by uh, wiping out this tank, which doesn't count, but takes us straight into the fight. And let's see what we can do with the hijacking. Wow, that dude gave up quickly. Anyway, I pop smoke because I can't see if it's an engineer or not, and I just want to get out of here and save the vehicle. It looks like we're not going to get the driver. Yeah, I give up. Not worth it. Save the vehicle. All right, let's start doing what a wildcat's meant to do and see if we can see anyone in the skies to take out, because that's where the big money is. Yeah, we've seen each other. This is a duel now. Remember, I don't have APS. Let's see who's going to win. Just come out on top with 1% health left. Anyway, that's big money. We got ourselves a jet. Can we get another one? You know this owl's always coming too. My only chance is to try and intercept it. Well, I made a mess of that, but by the rules of the game, that's $144 million. So there you go. It looks like if you want to win at this game, you better get yourself some anti-air. So let's try one more time before we move on to something else. You don't want to overdo a joke. This went south very quickly. First of all, they ran the health bar all the way to the bottom. And second, an MBD came rolling in just as I capped and the driver I hijacked is a Leaves player. APS is about to run out. It's all on the intercept. It's possible. No more missiles and the MBT doesn't seem to have seen us. But of course, the Dragosaurus. saw us. Anyway, moving on from those, some of my favorite hijacks when I was doing this was actually the ones where I never even fired a shot. Pure opportunism. I decided just to get out of there. What am I going to kill alone with the cab? Aside from a little bit of juicy roadkill. I also found a few vehicles in a couple strange places. <laughs> Here's one example. Okay, that guy just bailed on the tank immediately, but uh, then I began to figure out why. Not the best call-in by all the counts. It does seem to be stuck, but uh, let's see if we keep at it, whether or not we can wiggle it free. There's a free tank on the line after all. There we go, we did it. But before you think I'm making it up, this really does happen a lot. These guys are trying to recover the wildcat, uh, but I'm just gonna slip in there and help myself. The only question here is whether the Mav is going to see me or not and uh, take me out before I can get away. Nope, looks like we're clear. So yeah, this happens quite a lot. 
Okay, let's start to bring this to a close. As promised in the introduction, the Hall of Heroes. Now, uh, you can see that my friend is locked in a tank battle here, so obviously I jump in to help and uh, respect the other player. You went down like a champ. But also, something weird happened. How was I killed by my own repair tool? <laughs> I really don't understand that. Squashed, I would have understood, but killed by my own repair tool? Anyway, let's look at another one. Now you may be wondering why you watch this, why am I saluting such a generic kill? The reason is that the driver's friend completely abandoned them, so I'm going to punish them for that. Yikes, well, at least you know I'm not using an aimbot. But anyway, the deserter was punished, I've done my job as a commissar. But look, jokes aside, the point of this section, don't get out of your vehicle if you're close to being captured. Just let the vehicle get destroyed. It's the far better outcome than letting it fall into the other team's hands. Sometimes it's just the right play. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. If you are going to play my little game, please do let me know the score. You should certainly try hijacking is fun, and I'll leave you with some humor. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. See you the next one. Oh yeah, that's right, Madlock. No! Charlie 2 under attack. We are assaulting Charlie 2. The enemy holds the majority. Saves left, you idiot! Oh. Oh. Well, I guess we found something you're not better at.